I feel like I get corona off a party. Um, I got corona the correct way. Motherfuckers just get corona from get opening the door now. I can get it from the <laughs> party. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to have fun. Bro. <laughs> We locked in live for another episode of Explicit Content. I'm here live with my boy GG, Hood <laughs> Tally, straight out of Philly. We here in the 80. What's poppin' with you, my boy? How you feeling? I'm chilling, man. I feel good. How you feeling today? You, you straight, man? Yeah, I'm high. What you smoking on? Um, Snoop Dogg. Okay, okay. Snoop Dogg. All right, so yeah, um, I've been watching my boy for a minute. I say, like, since the quarantine, he's definitely one of my favorite upcoming rappers. Um, like I said, he's from Philly, but he's brought some attention out to Atlanta. I noticed him at the Carchella show, um, hosted earlier this month by One Two Worldwide. You feel me? He rocked that bitch. I was like, "Yeah, we got to get you on the podcast yeah. for sure." <laughs> so shit. I mean, um, I appreciate it. Too. Nah, for sure. I I talked to your management. That's how we actually got this shit uh, hooked up. And they was telling me like, you know, you wanted a real nigga interview and shit. I'm like, that's even better because <laughs> you feel me. That's how I kind of take pride in my show. You feel me yeah. like that? Like I call it explicit content. Yeah, so yeah. like, you feel me? What would you say like? Make you different as an artist, you feel me? Coming into the game right now than these other artists that, you know what I'm saying, go on these, these shows like Vlad, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. And, I mean, know? I can't really speak for like dumb type of artists that go on Vlad, but like from the artists I know, like where I come from, I really like did the shit that I'm rapping about, you feel me? For sure. I'm not rapping about what niggas doing around me, none of that. And like, I'm my own person, you feel me? Like, I don't need no block, I don't need no click, I don't need none of that. I always been my own man and shit, so it was like, I'm just different from all these niggas, like. And, like, these niggas wanted the rap, you feel me? Like, they chose the rap. Me, like, I just was seeing what I could do with it, and then that shit just took off. Right, because you only been rapping since January, right? Yeah. For sure. So damn, I mean, all right. Let me see the light. Going into that, what was it like growing up in Philly? Regular, your man. Shit. I was chilling, man. I was chilling. I was chilling in Philly until niggas wanted to fuck with me. Okay, so what, what age was that when you jump off the porch? Probably like 17, 16. 17. Okay. I was selling drugs and shit, but I jumped off the porch like... 17, 17. So, yeah, I earlier when we were just talking, you told me, like, you always had a good job. You feel me? You kept money and shit. You know what I'm saying? And you was trapping and shit. Like, what was that like? You feel me? Going from a job to trapping, job to trapping, and now you're a rapper. You feel me? I ain't really give a fuck. Like, like some people, they get a job, you feel me? And they stay with their job because of the money they make or whatever. But, like, me, like, I wasn't, like, I just ain't like how I was getting treated in that job. I was working at the post office and shit. Like, straight out of high school. Yeah. But I ain't like how I was getting treated in that job, so... I put the mail down and picked up the perks. And that shit, you know what I mean? I ain't I never looked back since, you hear me? For sure. For sure. So, I was listening to your song, uh, Trench Talk. Mm-hmm. And then, you feel me? You you started that bitch, you like, murder rate high. You feel me? Like, I still want to talk a little bit on, on that. Like, I know Philly... I'm from Gary. I don't know if you know, but Gary, yeah. right by Chicago, you feel me? All that shit in the Midwest kind of deadly. Mm-hmm. But Philly, like, you feel me? On the East Coast, we looking at Philly like like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like that shit, the trenches. So, yeah. <clears throat> speak on a little bit like that, you feel me? Growing up in the trenches. I mean, that shit's sweet because I'm from there, you feel me? That yeah. shit's sweet to me. And, like, like, growing up out there, you feel me? It's just, like, out there, niggas, niggas can't help but dicky, you feel me? Niggas be dicky and out there, so niggas get involved in shit that they don't really got no business in getting involved in. And then that's how, like, shit just happened, you feel me? And right now, it's a lot of shit just happening out there, you feel me? Because niggas don't know how to mind their business. And everybody want, you feel me? Like Chicago, that's what they want to be like. And it's like young niggas, you feel me? Like 17. This nigga's my age, but like, that's why so many, there's so many young boys dropping this shit. It's the young niggas and shit. But growing up out there, like, you feel me? Me, for me, I, it was cool. Like, yeah, man, I always was fly, you feel me? I wasn't a dirty nigga, you feel me? I always had money and shit, clothes, whatever. Uh, I was 17, I got locked up for a gun and shit. I got locked up in Germantown, whatever. 
I came home on house arrest. I was on house arrest for like two years and shit. I got off house arrest. I got shot at the gym and shit. I told you this story. After that, I just was in the streets, like, fully, fully, like, excuse me. After that, I was in the streets fully, and then I just started coming across little shit, you feel me? Like, just little shit, like the shit I be rapping about, I just start coming across little shit, but this just, like, whole time, I'm not even thinking about rapping. And I start rapping because, like, I ain't had no, I ain't had my pop, like, my whole life, whatever. So it was like, I met my pop when I was like, I met my pop when I was like 19. I just turned 19 and shit. So he he offered me some money. He said, he said, man, every song you get on with me, I'm going to give you 500 and shit. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Like, I ain't even thinking nothing of it. I'm like, this is, this is a little quick 500, you feel me? So I'm like, all right, boom. This nigga bullshit, you feel me? So I'm like. I'm just fried one day. I'm chilling. I like. I put on the beat, whatever. I made this song, but I ain't never. Nobody ain't never hear it for real, for real. Something like niggas I be with and shit. So I made this song. Niggas like, all right, boom, boom, boom. So whole time, like, I'm making songs behind the scenes, but like, I'm not posting this shit. You feel me? Like, I'm not letting nobody know. So I'm just making songs, making songs. I make anxiety. I'm like, all right, boom. So. I let somebody hear it out there. I ain't even gonna say his name and shit. I let somebody hear it out there, like for like music shit, whatever. Boom. So we were supposed to shoot a video. I bring all the stress on shit. Nigga bullshit me, right? So this was like, this is like November. I'm like, all right, boom. I'm just still recording, still recording this shit. I just said, right, I'ma drop the, I'ma drop, I'ma drop the song 2020 in January. I dropped that video. I shit was over after that. Absolutely. Yeah. So I right, a little bit before that, let's, let's let's go back. What made you like start your rap career? You feel me? Like like I said, you feel me? You was working, trapping, but what made you go to that? Like I right, let me start rapping now. And that was this January twenty twenty, right? Like, I'm gonna keep it a being. I told you. Like my pop, like that's that's five hundred. Like I just that's was like, so, fuck it, it's okay, quick now. cash. So it was you nothing else behind it. It was you nothing else really. Never had wrote nothing. Like I did, I made it. It probably was like it probably was like three years before that. I recorded this song, but like I always, you feel me? Like I always was the type nigga. Like I just made my social media. Like I wasn't really, you know what right. I mean? I was always the type nigga. So like, I let me ask you that: Who is Hood Tally P and then who is GG? Um, Hood Tally P. That's just when I uh punch in. You okay. feel me? Like that's just the flow. Of, like when I punch in this shit, so it's like that's just my like go in there, fuck it. Now, but Hood, Tali, and Tali P is it? Yeah, man, Tali P gonna fuck your bitch. You hear me? Like, that's why I just keep that with the bitches and shit. Like, I'm gonna fuck your bitch. That's like who you was in the street session. Yeah, like, GG, like, that's just the clocks and all that. You feel me? I come with all that. Everybody already know that, though. Like, that just was like, nigga, I need a fucking Glock sponsorship. Like, why you fuck with Glock so much? Huh? I'm, I'm into guns and shit like that too. You feel me? But like, <laughs> he said, "Why well, fuck with yeah, Glock so much?" I really, you know, I be looking. You know what I'm saying? Like, be looking at different brands and shit. But I peeped your shit. Like, you got the Glock shit in all your videos. You know why I fuck with Glock so much? They jam. They do jam. Nah, we turn that bitch to an AK. <laughs> That's okay. the only motherfucker I know okay. how to nah, turn to. Sure. You know what I mean? For sure. So like, you started rapping in January, like you said. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, real quick shit. How did you maintain your rap career through the pandemic? Cause you know, being a rapper is hard already. You feel me? What you mean by that? Like, like, you know, how you how you keep the motivation? Like, you feel me? You got, you know, what I'm saying, it's a lot to do. That's a hard work. And then I just, really, just just fell off in the pandemic. You feel me? You started the whole rap career. Oh no, bro! I just was recording songs. Like, I was recording songs. I was recording songs. Like, I just re- kept recording songs, but. See, I'm gonna say this like, all right, how my first video would have went, that would have that would have like played that would have played the big part on how everything would have played out. You feel me? If my first video wouldn't have did something that satisfied me, then I wouldn't have been rapping at all. You feel me? But once that I I did that, and then I'm trying to think what the fuck I made the freestyle whatever I dropped the freestyle and I just start seeing the numbers. 
So I'm like, damn. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm about to drop a tape on some fucking shit. Like, I did the United Master, I drop a tape. That shit start going up, bro. That shit start really going up. But it was like, I just kept doing it because I had so many songs. Because whole time, like, I was still making songs. Like, I was making songs probably November, October, December 2019. You feel me? So it was like, I was getting better and better. You feel me? I was getting better and better. And better. So the Cartelio for a show? Yeah. Okay. So damn. So what did it feel like? You feel me when Meek posted your shit? I mean... <laughs> it felt normal cause like 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 I been like that was new to that was new to everybody. That that wasn't new to me, you feel me? It's a lot of background shit that motherfuckers don't know, you feel me? Right. Like, I can't really I can't really get into all that cause I don't really wanna put the business out there. But it's a lot of background shit that a lot of motherfuckers don't know. Motherfuckers just think like, alright, me post the mean and that really got me led and you feel me shit like that like no this shit this shit deeper than like this shit deeper than rap shit like you feel me like there's a lot of niggas that want me to win you feel me for sure like a neighborhood hero type shit yeah like there's a lot of niggas that that fuck with me you feel me that really don't gotta fuck with me they know who they is though they know what i'm talking about but i mean so how, how is that like you feel me obviously coming off streets and shit full-time rapper how do you maintain it? Like, you feel me? Um, I moved out. For real, for real. Because when I was down there, I was drawn. Like, when I was down there, I was riding around hot. Like, I was riding around real hot and shit. Like, I was drawn. I was outside. Like, I was outside. So, it was like, I wasn't really worried about nobody doing nothing to me. I was more so worried about, like, all right, I'm bubbling out here. And then I'm riding around because I got to defend myself. And I get caught in the gym, you feel me? Now I got to sit or whatever, you feel me? Because what's for the gun laws? Like, got, you can't rap in this game. Mm-mm. Yourself. Mm-mm. Not at all. You don't got a license, you don't need to have no gun. For sure, but, uh, and but it's Georgia like, is different. Now. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, I don't, I don't really got no, I don't got no record or nothing like that, you feel me? Like, I caught my I caught my gun case when I was 17, you feel me? So yeah. all that shit, I had a lawyer. That shit, all that shit got to take care of, whatever. So, I don't really be worried about that shit, but I move so I can, like, I ain't got to do nothing to nobody, you feel me? Nobody can't do nothing to me. I really wasn't worried about that, though. Nobody so, with all this shit happening so fast, where can you see yourself? Like, what's some of your rap goals? Man, I ain't going to lie. It's like, I just be speaking that shit into existence, bro. Like, I can't. I don't know, like, I don't know. My rap goal. This is your first interview, too, so go ahead. You feel me? Go ahead and manifest some shit. Like, some shit. You feel me? Look back on this shit in a year, that shit. You probably gonna shatter that shit. This time next year, I probably already done fucked your bitch, so, like, you ain't gotta worry about that. But, like, I'm gonna be a rich motherfucker, dude. Like, I'm gonna be a rich motherfucker. And, like, I'm only saying it like that. Cause a lot, there's a lot of motherfuckers that that like, really don't don't want this shit to happen, but it's nothing you can do to stop it at all. Just take it, and I will see you soon. Other than that, you mean like, just gonna be you mean living my life with my son, chilling, smoking, rapping, you mean. Same shit, get dressed. That's it. Well, you had a song. Like, how did that? How did that feel? You feel me? I know it was like bittersweet. It was bittersweet, cause it was like I wasn't ready, but I was like, I got a son. You feel me? So that like that like helped me with a lot of shit personally. You feel me? Like after I got shot. So yeah, I was gonna say okay. You got shot at the baby shower. Mm-hmm. Did that like give you some type of sign or something? Like, well, I got shot at the gender reveal. Your gender reveal, my fault. I ain't going to lie, bro. After that, that shit ain't give me no sign. That shit turned me to a real evil motherfucker, bro. I feel you. So it was like, my son was my peace for real. Like, my son, like, told me, like, you feel me, clear shit up in my head. You feel me? And then I started reading that shit. And then once I started reading, like, books, getting closer to God and shit like that. What's your spirituality, bro? I ain't really, like, got no spirituality, you feel me? 
that I've been reading up like on Islam and shit, but I ain't wanna like take my shahada until like I got my knowledge right, you feel me? But I just was trying to get like closer to a higher power because I knew like I knew I was fucked up. You feel me? Like, I knew I was fucked up. Like in my head, you feel me? The way I process shit. So I was like, man, ain't no way I'm gonna be able to enjoy enjoy what's gonna come to me if I don't get my mind right. You feel me? So that's why I'm moving out here. That shit helped me too. That shit helped me like clear my mind. You feel me? I'm away from the drama. That's real shit. So what you been working on out here? I know um. You was in the studio seven other day. I did, but... Like, 11 songs. Yeah. So, you got a tape coming out? Yeah, I got a tape coming out called Bentley Dreams. But it's just, like, right now, it's like... I don't know what I'm going to make. Like, when I go in this motherfucker, so it's like... I make so many songs, it's like... I be trying... I don't know. I can't What's pick. your inspiration for when you go in the booth? You got, like, any artists you... You feel me? Influence your artists you look up to? Or you just... Had a bitches in the booth or what? I listen. I listen to. I listen to a lot of Detroit niggas. I like doing their beats and shit. But I like. I'm not gonna say like, like they influence like the type of rap I make. But it's like I do a lot. I, I be listening to a lot of Detroit artists and shit. Like Babyface, all them niggas, Wavy Navy, all that shit. But it's like, as far as like when I go in there, I mostly like. I at my best when niggas make me mad. Like. Like when niggas back home talking this shit or whatever. No, I feel like, love yeah, shit. Or, not, not even that. When they feel like, 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 when they feel like, cause whole time niggas don't even be digging, like, all right, you might got, you might got this, you might got this many songs or whatever, but like, I really got some shit. You feel me? Like, I got some shit. I, like, I could drop for every day, at a, uh, every day for the rest of the year if I wanted to. So it was like, and it's like, whatever I gotta do as far as the money, for the cameraman, whatever, like, I'm gonna do that, you feel me, just to make sure my shit different from everybody else's, so, like, I'm not playing, like, I'm not playing with these niggas, bro. You ever, uh, you reach out to some artists for features, or who's some niggas you want to collab with? I ain't never reach out to nobody, it's crazy, bro, that's another thing, like, I really did that shit without no features or nothing, like, artists I really want to collab with, probably, like, the main person. Like the main person, I'm a, I can only really say one person right now. That's a little dirt. You said dirt? Yeah. That's the only Yeah. That's the that's only one. Okay, okay. So, damn, alright. We touched on a lot. We touched on a lot. You sure? Let me see if I'm going to show. Sure. Alright, well, another episode of my boy, GG Hood, Tally P. Uh, drop your social, you feel me? Tell them where they can find you, tune in with you. You can follow me on Instagram at Hood Tally P, my YouTube, Hood Tally, my two tapes on all platforms, GG, Akani, uh, Hood Tally Part 1. I got Pot Rocks out, go tune in. For sure. Appreciate mm-hmm. you, my boy. Alright, bro.